Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. You see, responsibility is greater than rights. Write it down. It'll make sense after I'm gone. Responsibility is greater than rights. Give more than you take from life. Go the second mile. You know, how many people do you know they only do what you ask them to do? How many folks you know only do what they can get away with? How many of you as leaders only do what's expected of you and no more? You don't have a spirit of excellence. An excellent spirit always goes beyond the call of duty and beyond the assignment. An excellent spirit does not do just because you were told, but it does because it believes and it acts. Go the second mile for excellence. Number six, be consistent. Nothing is as frustrating as an inconsistent human. You know a few of them, don't you? You're probably sitting in their shoes right now. <laughs> an excellent person sets high standards for themselves. So I want to encourage you to write this down. I will set high standards for myself. Be consistent. People forget how fast you do a job, but never how good. True? People forget how fast you do a job, but never how good. Be consistent in your performance. Always do a job the best you can. Always manifest the excellency of your attitude in everything you do. Be consistent. A lot of people can be good for a moment, but a true leader is consistent all the time. Never ask God for something you are not willing to go after. Be consistent. Consistency attracts promotion. Another word for consistency is faithfulness. Faithfulness. You want to manifest faithfulness before those that you influence because you want them to be the same. Do you know, how many of you have ever had this experience? Someone said to you, I'm going to be for you at 5.15. And you suddenly was controlled by that promise to the point where you started rearranging your schedule and putting pressure on yourself to be there at 514 because of a reputation this person has developed with you which says they are always on time. In other words, their consistency begins to make you consistent. If you want the people in your downline to be faithful, then you're the key. If you want the people in your downline to always show up to meetings, then you shouldn't miss them. If you want the people in your downline to always be faithful to assignments, then when you expect to do something for them, then they should see that faithfulness in you. You see, consistency breeds consistency. Number seven, never stop improving. Oh, this is a good one. 
never stop improving. Excellence is a spirit that is never satisfied. Write it down. A person of excellence may be impressed by what they've done, but never satisfied with what they've done. They are constantly improving. Excellence is the gradual result of striving to be better. Excellence is constantly growing. If you grow, everything will get better. I repeat, if you grow, everything will get better. That's why a true leader is constantly developing, coming to seminars, reading books, learning and self-learning and unlearning and relearning because a leader knows that if you grow, everything changes. You know, things in life don't change much. You do. Is that right? I mean, <laughs> half of the things that you thought were problems 20 years ago, you look at them as opportunities now. Because you grew. Ignorance is the greatest enemy of man. Knowledge is his best friend. So the less you know, the more you are confused about life. The more you learn, the more simple life becomes. A true excellent leader is always growing because he knows everything will get better as he grows. So take responsibility for your own improvement and tell your people that. You can't babysit leaders, you inspire leaders. And if you want others to become leaders like you, then you must encourage them to take responsibility for their own development. Uh, let me say one thing that I believe is going to be the secret to 21st century management. Write this down. Good leaders manage people and develop systems. Great leaders develop people and manage systems. Now look at the difference. Do you see it? Which one are you? You got to answer that question yourself. For the last 800 years and recently the last 500 years as we expanded into the Industrial Revolution, you will note that the majority of management systems and philosophies in the world, including big business, has been to manage people and develop resources. What a pity. The greatest resource you have is the people. So true leaders develop people. Other leaders manage people. When you stop learning, you start losing. When you stop learning, you start losing. When you stop growing, you start dying. Number eight. Oh, this one is good. Always give 100%. An excellent spirit always gives 100%. Life, look at me, is made up of four kinds of people. I think you met them before. Number one, cop outs. Two, holdouts. Three, drop outs. <laughs> and four, all outs. A cop-out is a person who says it's impossible, so I won't even try, I won't even join, I won't even attempt. The holdouts are those who are only in it 
to make use of your time, but have no interest or commitment in improving or doing any better. They're just holding out. They're the ones that consume your energy without profit. The third one are the dropouts. A dropout is a person who started with zeal, excitement, you know them. Oh, this is great. Man, I've never seen them. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to go with this. Oh, we're going to be excited. We're going to be rich, 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 rich. Tomorrow. You know them. All outs. Pay the price to reach the goal. Excellent people are more concerned with getting ahead rather than getting home. Most of the people that are employed on jobs wait for five o'clock. They live for lunch times. But a real, true, excellent spirit has a spirit of paying the price for the goal. They work not to get home, but they work to build a home. And there's a difference. They go beyond the call of duty into personal pride. Wow, I like that. An excellent person goes beyond the call of duty into the realm of personal pride. They say, I'm doing this because this represents me. When they do a job, they do it because there's a sense of personal pride involved, not working for someone else. That's a spirit of excellence. They see their work as their signature. That's a good thing to note. An excellent spirit sees its work as a signature. If you are ashamed of what you've done, then no one else should see it. If you are ashamed of what you have accomplished, then no one else should see it. Everything you do should be your signature. As a matter of fact, your life should be so excellent that whenever people walk past something you did, they can always say, I know who did that. Just by the way it is done, it's your signature. Number nine, make excellence a lifestyle. You got one more after this and then we take a break. Number nine, make excellence a lifestyle. Everybody say lifestyle. Come on leaders, say lifestyle. Come on lions, say lifestyle. Let the eagle say lifestyle. That's important. Excellence must be a lifestyle. What does that mean? Do it right the first time all the time. Mediocrity is a personal trait. Excellence is a choice like attitude. You choose to be excellent. People will see you before they hear you. <laughs> so look good to yourself. How many of you ever put on a suit or a dress or a pantsuit or I mean and you just knew you look good anybody else felt that way of course you did don't look so shy I mean there's some clothing that just look good on you now there's some you wear you kind of put up with them you know and uh, you don't feel too good but there's certain things that you put on they just look good and what do you do you can't wait to go out <laughs> Matter of fact, that's the one day you are very conspicuous. Hello, hi, hello, everybody. Hey, how you doing, girl? Good to see you, brother. Right on, hey, hi. Why? You just know. You look good. <laughs> clap, that's a good place to clap. You know it's true. Why? 
because the excellent spirit is upon you you see people will see you be before they hear you so when you look good to yourself you're proud to talk an excellent spirit is a spirit that's a lifestyle it always looks good feels good works good I have a, a principal in our company and we have a staff of over 52 full-time workers work in our office and another staff of 267 volunteer workers that work with me so we got a staff of over 300 people and there's a law that we have throughout the whole office ever since we started the company it's a personal original statement that I came up with for my own life and I taught it to my whole staff and the leaders in our whole country and our whole uh, uh, company and it's this if you can't do it right don't do it yet I want to encourage you to adopt that attitude in your life and in your business and in your work say it with me if you can't do it good if you can't do it right say it if you can't do it right don't do it yet say it don't do it yet that's the attitude of excellence why because you only have one time to make a lasting impression when you go to present your program to a group of people put on your best clothes and put on your best cologne and perfume and, and fix your hair the best you can and walk in there with your best walk and give them your best stand and, and talk with your best articulation and impact them with your best breath why you only got one time to make a lasting impression every time a man sells diamonds and he ain't wearing none you better doubt the diamonds if a man selling fish he don't eat fish you better doubt the fish in the market if we are going to become leaders that inspire people to become leaders then we have to look like leaders act like leaders even relate to each other as leaders so they can see how we relate at our level so they can be inspired to do the same at their level we are the manifestation of our own lifestyle of excellence your appearance is the platform for your presentation so be excellent in your physical appearance I want to give you a challenge a simple one here's your homework until I see you again study class <laughs> simple assignment study class spend the rest of your life studying what is class hopefully first class even if you ain't there yet study it because whatever you study you begin to think and whatever you think you become because as a man think it so is he if you don't think excellence you cannot be excellent remember write this down quality is never an accident your house is not beautiful by mistake your room is not cleaned but you didn't intend for it to look so <laughs> quality is not an accident it's a decision and a result of hard work and finally excellent spirits never compare yourself with others but with yourself take that to your downline but begin it in your own life first I repeat never compare yourself with others only with yourself people of excellence never look at what other people are doing and use it as a measure for their success excellence write this down is competition with yourself excellence is competing with what you did last 
to see if you can do it better. Excellence is striving to complete what your mind says you know you could do better. Excellence is self-competition, not other competition. Striving to outdo yourself is excellence. Celebrate what makes you an individual. You were born an original, remember? So don't become a copy of someone else's mediocrity. Look at people, but don't let them, them make you what they are. Some of you have accomplished a certain level of success in this business, but I'm warning you, don't ever become so impressed by what you've accomplished that you cease striving to accomplish what you could. Compete with yourself. Attitude, standard, state of mind is the secret to life. Excellence is a spirit that produces an attitude that results in a way of thinking that manifests in a way of life. Finally, to be yourself and to become yourself is the essence of life. To help others discover themselves and release themselves is the essence of living. You have life and you give life when you create leaders around you. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.